Hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Tuesday, starting on a Tuesday. Monday was, I feel like Blue Monday was a week late for me because yesterday I woke up in an awful mood, in just a really a sad mood. I didn't get up to go to boot camp, I fell back asleep, woke up at like 10 o'clock and I just had a really flat day. I just took it easy and felt the feelings and felt the mood and just was easy on myself and didn't try and push myself too hard. I just felt shit, but I woke up this morning, I was like, right, I'm gonna go boot camp, went boot camp, did my food shop, did the walk the dogs around the park, got all my work done. I've like I've ticked all my to-do list off, so I feel bloody great. But I'm starting the vlog this evening because I have got my friend Lauren coming to stay with me over the next two nights. Not tonight, tomorrow night, and not after, because she basically reached out to me and said, um, I'm teaching at the university, I'm doing a lecture. May I come and stay at your may I have some lodgings at your inn? And I said, absolutely, because you're a legend and I, I, I would love to see you because it's been a long time. So you may come and stay at the inn, but um, this is now the spare room. I need to make it suitable for a guest. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna give the house a little once over. Hello head, hello darling, hello my beautiful lady. Are you okay? Yes, oh you got goopy eye. I'm gonna just sort the house out. I'm gonna give myself an hour just to give the house a little once over. Just a little wipe, little clean. I'm in London all day tomorrow, so I can't do it tomorrow. Can't do it tomorrow. Um, she's just gonna come over when I'm back. That'll be that. But uh, I, I went to add on my food shop today. I got a new duvet set for in here. Look at that, look how nice that is. And this gorgeous, uh, get off that, get off it. And this gorgeous bottom sheet, which really fits in with the room. In fact, this does do. So I, I washed it, I put, it up, put them on radiators to make them dry quickly. They smell really fresh. I just thought that's the least I could do considering I don't have a bed in here anymore. It is just a sofa bed, so it's not gonna be as comfortable as it would have been. But at least the sheets are nice and fresh and 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 just lovely. So I need to sort the sofa bed out. And that is what I'm gonna do right now. vegan and whenever like anybody is like gluten-free or vegan whatever have any specific dietary requirements and they come stay with me or they come over I'm just sorry just run up the stairs I'm, sorry. Um, I'm just like ah must look after them so I just thought I would just get some of these little vegan biscuits put them there so she's like it's like a hotel so she comes in and there's biscuits I hope she likes that. I need to put my laundry away and the clothes away from oh, filming. I did, I was very good and was tidying up as I went along. There are still a few bits that didn't get put away. Oh, there's this, there's this hole in, in my little basket where I chuck my hoodie and it's a diam sized hole because she likes to jump in my, oh, this basket. She can jump in that and make a bed for herself. If I lose her in the daytime, I know that's where she is. And also, she won't answer to me when I call her, because she'll be in her, she'll be in her little hole. And I'll come up and she'll just roll on her back like, no, I didn't do anything. But she did. She didn't listen. And she didn't come when I called her. And she's in my hoodie. Putting clothes away is one of those tasks that you think is gonna take you forever and you put off and you put it off. Really, actually, it only really takes like 10, 10, 15 minutes. I have put my Margaritaville jumper on to hit warm up, but I've just, it became my decorating jumper and I'm covered in paint. Okay, this is such a first world problem. I'm gonna go upstairs and hoover. I need to tell you the story of the Dyson. So I bought this Dyson. I thought I'd give the cordless one more go. So I got this really bougie Dyson. I had big 
spare cash at the time, so I bought it. It was pretty fucking expensive. My mum comes over like two weeks after I bought it and drops it so aggressively that it fucks the battery pack. And so I've, I have to duct tape it in. And when I'm hoovering, I have to hoover holding it shut because the duct tape is no longer useful. And I need some super strong power tape to really hold it in place. Um, because it doesn't stay. I'm wondering if it's the problem is with the actual battery itself or this part, because if it's the battery, I wonder if I can get a new one. But thanks, Sue, if you're watching, for breaking my hoover. I have to hold it like that, so there's contact. In your will, mother, when you die, I want to, I want you, I'm gonna put an invoice in for this. <laughs> all, all right? <laughs> Please don't die, I love you. Right, so we're clean. A reasonable standard. It's dinner time. I'm gonna make a stir fry. Some for lunch. And now it's bath time. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Adventure day today. I'm going to London. I'm going to London and I'm doing like influencer things. Ah. I live such a repetitive mundane life that I actually feel like I'm going on a big day out. <laughs> First time I've done something like this in a while, but I'm, um, I'm, I'm working with Pan 10 and I'm very excited about it because I love hair shit. I love being asked to do hair stuff. So I feel really, Honoured. So I'm gonna go down to a salon to do so, to make some content with Pantene and then I'm going to an All Saints fashion show which makes me feel so cool! I'm wearing my All Saints ever jacket um, and they are gifting me an outfit so this feels legit and it feels really cool and um, I'm dead excited about it. I've got to drop the girls off though at their grandmas. Chuck them in the car first because I was packing my bits up and they were just going nuts so I just thought you can go first because then at least you'll chill, because you know that you're coming. The girls have been dropped off with their grandma. I've just got petrol and a Starbucks and a little fruit pot for my breakfast. Time to hit the open road, baby. The journey has begun. Finally in London. Though I'm running really late because there were two accidents, unfortunately, on the road, which is obviously not great for the people involved. But as you can imagine, when there's traffic, I mean, when there's an accident, there's traffic. I am running late, but I've let people know. Uh, I also really need a wee now. I've been in the car for so long. Left. Left. <laughs> had a bloke, I've had my hair washed. I was in this, I was in this corner. Where are they all saying show? On the front row? Oh my god. Who am I? We had a quick prep stop and now we're here. We're ladies on the go today, Eloise. when I left, well, when I left the salon. It's very drizzly weather, it's ruined my blow dry. Um, can't believe I went to an Ace at All Saints uh, fashion show and I was on the front row, that's fucking crazy. Um, sat with some very cool people. I definitely felt like I didn't, don't belong here, though the brand is very, I love it, I love All Saints. Got goodie bag and my whole, they gave me a whole outfit to wear but it was all wrapped up, so you didn't see it. it was, it's been an absolutely mad day today. Just, I've had loads of things to carry, not had a spare hand free for vlogging, really. And um, yeah, really, really busy, but great. I've got to drive home now, pick up my girl. Good boy. 
strength boot camp. Legs and glutes and a bit of arms today. What weight shall we put on here? Yeah. Shall we put with... tens? Yeah. The green boys? The green ones. Go on then. I'm at my desk. I've been here all day. Editing, editing, editing. Drinking coffee and editing. I've got some fantastic news. Um, I don't know, but I'm just very, very excited about it. So, I finally got through my prescription for my ADHD medication. It was in the post. I got, in, I got the email, and then in the post today was the actual official uh, prescription. So I need to go to the chemist and get it. And I'm scared, terrified. I'm also very excited. And I feel like it's either gonna change my life or it's going to be difficult and might not be the right fit for me at first. So I'm a bit scared that I'm gonna have unpleasant like side effects. I don't know, but I am just so excited to see it have a, hopefully have a positive effect on me. And yeah, I almost feel like my life can start again. Not like it can start again, but I can be at my full potential. It's very difficult to, to sometimes, it's very difficult having this kind of brain and not not always being able to focus on things that you want to focus on or get, getting like things done. And I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna cure me. It won't cure me, it won't cure me at all. But I'm just, I can't wait to Atomoxetine. Atomoxetine works in the brain to increase tension and decrease reless restlessness in people who are hyperactive, have problems with concentration, or are easily distracted. The medicine may be used as part of a treatment program. Uh, oh my god, this! Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. There's a big article on it. Ah! Good day. It is Saturday and I'm at the beach because today we're doing the big chill. I did it last year, doing it this year. We're raising money for charity. We're gonna run in the sea with the boot camp lot. So quick update on what I've been doing. So Lauren came and it was real fun. Like she's such a good energy. Um, and then yesterday I hung out with Josie and we went to Starbucks and got puppuccinos for dogs and also for myself. And then I did work in the afternoon. And then yesterday evening, I went and did some music with my friend Gavin. We were just doing some, he has his idea, he wanted me to go and do vocals on it. So I did. Um, but here at the beach today to do the big chill. Um, someone said in my, someone said in, uh, left a comment on last week's vlog, which it's not, I'm not, I'm not like bashing. It was just, I wish you would show more of what you're doing rather than telling us. And I, I completely get that totally. But this, I just feel like I feel more so these days to be, I wouldn't call it respectful as in I was previously disrespectful, but when I'm spending time with people that I haven't seen in a while, I just want to really be in the moment. And um, there are some occasions where I just really want to be in the moment and not have to, not think about getting my camera out and filming it and sharing it necessarily for like the whole world to see. Not thinking that you guys are undeserving of that or that I'm trying to be weird. Um, but I think there are some occasions where it is just nicer to just have that minute to myself and just be present. Um, and also like I'm the YouTuber, other people in my life aren't. So I don't really want to inflict that on, I don't really want to expect that of others. I know there's certain people in my life that don't mind and have grown up with it with me, but other people that aren't so like used to that, I don't want to just shove it on them like that. I'm just being respectful, I suppose. Anyway, that's over. But we're at the beach today. And Danny's coming. I'm here with my sister and my niece. <coughs> Chili. This is Chili, the dog. This is Annie. Hi, Annie. You alright, guys? We've got Zara, the baby. And then we've got Blue. And then my two, they're just all over there, having a run around. But James is putting out the boot camp for today. Oh no. There's gonna be blocks of ice by the time we're done. <laughs> Love this beach, this is sea pooling. It's beautiful.
Where is she? Beautiful. <laughs> that was invigorating. <laughs> I'm just saying how invigorating it was. You look like you look like your brain is frozen. <laughs> Hello. Hello. A wee baby. A wee baby. A wee baby. Hello, wee Baker. Baby. Her new baby. She looks like a bunny, but <laughs> the thing is really too big. <laughs> oh, that was a cute noise. Oh, she's saying hi. Her first appearance. Hello. Um, yeah, it takes your breath away. Wasn't as bad as I was thinking, but it takes your breath away for sure. But they've got some very good toilets here with a hot shower in there. Shut up. Really? Yeah, so I they just didn't have that last year. Did yeah, they? I just rinsed my feet. Oh, it was lovely. Yeah. But all what was the charity? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, every time. Is it WWE? Uh, I always want to say WWE, but I mean that's not charity. <laughs> I think it's WWF. Yeah. I highly recommend if I live next to the sea, I would do that every morning. I would. Would you I would do that every morning, Danny, if I lived by the beach. Yeah. I would yeah. Oh, well we did in the summer we came we, we just came quite often. We yeah. did sort of twice a week came for a dip. I'd absolutely nice. But um I'm not convinced I'd cold water. Actually no, I'd probably try it. If you were doing it, I'd go. Yeah. It's good, it's good. Um, it's good we're fun. Still talking about dream beach house. Our dream beach house. <laughs> oh, oh, what about me? We can have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> A new dream. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Baker. Yeah, bye, Baker. Well, we're already moving to LA without him, so <laughs> yeah, we get a beach house too. Oh, God. We definitely need a beach house if we move to LA. It takes yeah. hours. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, mom. I, was saying, right, I wasn't really sure. Uh, I didn't even know if you did just to do it. No, 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 no. no. Yes! Home. We're watching Bling Empire. I'm having my lunch. They've had theirs. Of sandwich. It took me. Oh, look, a feather. And work with them more closely. Cute. I hope it's just. Are you going to draw? Oh, you move, it moved. Show us a picture in your art book. Wow! You drew that? That one. That's mega. Wow, that's well good. Cute. So I'm in the car. We're stuck in traffic. Well, that's my wallpaper. Love that. Oh my god, are you gonna draw me? Yeah. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Oh, you printed my face off. Hello. <laughs> cool. He just loves, you know, when his children graduate. Kissing. Want to meet Papa Lock? Daddy, I called me. Getting there. I mean, I did stop doing this for a while. I was definitely hyper focused on it. <laughs> Obsessed. But then um, I'm back on it and I'm really enjoying it. I'm just doing these bits, French knots. Terry's making a little house. What is it called? It's a roll off um, little miniature. Ooh. And Sophie's drawing. 
What are you drawing? Flower? With the Harry Potter on in the background. Day 10 after a tooth extraction. Ooh. Oh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I just got back from a lovely morning hanging out with friends and 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 seeing babies and catching up with everybody. Um, I went to a kilo sale this morning, which is um, basically loads of vintage clothes, you pack out everything you like, and then they weigh it and you pay for what it weighs. So uh, I'm gonna end this vlog on the stuff that I got today and also show you the things that I got from All Saints. I love a plaid shirt. This, I'm definitely gonna wash everything before I wear it because it smells like vintage foist. But I love a plaid shirt. This is really like cozy. Just to chuck on this bag. Needs a bit of a clean up, but it's a little croc, croc skin bag that opens like that. And it's just got this little fasten like this. Oh, and it's got a pocket in the front there. I just thought that'd be a nice little going out bag. Going out bag. Yeah, isn't that nice? Um, I've got a couple of head scarves. I love these for well, tying up my hair and also doing overnight curls. Overnight curls, but in the daytime, so morning to night, because they look cute and you can make them look yeah, it's like cute. I've got a tutorial for that on my Instagram if you want to check it out. I found this amazing Levi's jacket. I've got this essentially with the cut off sleeves but it's quite nice having it with sleeves because I don't have a black denim. Um, and then the piece de la resistance is this insane cardigan. Look at that, look at all these details. Wow. And everything came to 60 pounds. Oh shit, oh and this shirt. A really cool collar, like a Revere collar with this really retro print. But yeah, 60 pounds for all those pieces. A, a Levi's jacket. Works that man. Oh, dogs again. I was in London for um, a couple of things. As you saw us, dogs! All Saints were very, very generous by um, supplying a goodie bag and also an outfit for me to wear whilst I was there. So the outfit that I picked is this like two piece dress jumper. So it comes with this roll neck jumper on top um, with ribbed sleeves and then it comes with a ribbed dress to go underneath it and it looks like that without the jumper on and they yeah they do quite a lot of these dresses you get a jumper and a dress at the same time and then I also got to wear with that this studded belt which is a waist belt and it wraps around twice and that looked really nice around the waist of that belt a waist of that dress that was really cool double belt in today um, and then we got a goodie bag, right? Got a little perfume, which is this little guy. It's called Sunset Riot, and it is well up my street. So nice. And then also this All Saints scarf, which I've been wearing nonstop. It's khaki, it says All Saints on it, one side and then it's black the other with it. And then there was a voucher in there, and it was a very generous voucher, let's put it that way. And I have been after like a a, like a really soft black tote bag in which I can just chuck everything in. So I have got this cream one that I've been using, but I just really wanted a new black tote which I could chuck my laptop, my iPad in, and everything that I need out and about. And um, I found this one on the website, which is so me, and it is gorgeous. I ordered it, it came next day, it's studded one side, and it's plain on the other. It's so, so soft, really spacious. It's got an, an arm strap, but it's also got a, a nice handy hand one there. And it fastens up with this popper here. It just it just looks like this inside. Got a few pockets, compartments. <sighs> so yeah, really chuffed with this bag. That is that, they're all the bits. Um, I think for the rest of the day, chill. It's been very social weekend. I've seen a lot of people. It's been nice, it's been chill, but social, you know, so. I feel like I just need to go chill now and recharge my social battery. Do some embroidery, I think. But yeah, I'll catch you next week. Goodbye.